Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HG.tax. We are a team of tax professionals, tax accountants, tax lawyers, tax advisors that, that help individual investors, expats, and nomads navigate the sometimes confusing world of international tax, cross-border transactions, and compliance. You can have a look at our website, we HG.tax. We have over 2,000 articles, completely free of charge, that introduce and and sometimes explain some of the key concepts that you need to keep in mind. We also have over a thousand videos and podcasts and various po podcast platforms. You can have a look at those as well. But do keep in mind that I may be a tax advisor, but I am not your tax advisor. So nothing we say here should be construed as advice. We just hope to introduce some key principles that you keep in mind as you choose the right team to work with you. My name is Darren Joseph. So today I wanted to talk about FTX and the Caribbean CBI sector. For those who don't know, CBI stands for Citizenship by Investment. And there are five key, uh, there, there are five Caribbean islands that are particularly well positioned and attractive and perhaps industry leaders in, in terms of the CBI sector, Citizenship by Investments. So it's 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 in that context that I thought I'd make this video and you know introduce some of my ideas. So this is kind of a continuation to a video that I did before, and you can have a look at it. FTX Caribbean offshore and the threat of Dubai. So this is kind of like a follow up in my thinking. In, in that video, I introduced what I think to be the the issue around reputational risk and the knockoff effect that that is having on the Caribbean. Uh, as an offshore jurisdiction, because FTX being based in the Bahamas, so it it had an impact on the Bahamas and by extent by extension the rest of the Caribbean. I, I mentioned that in that video that banks are pulling out the big Caribbean banks that dominated the English speaking Caribbean. Because remember, I'm speaking I'm focusing on the English speaking Caribbean here, not on the Dutch, Spanish, or French Caribbean English speaking ones that really had an offshore sector. And, you know, so banks have been pulling out, insurance companies have been pulling out. Uh, I spoke about the the blacklist and, you know, how difficult banking in general has become and economic substance rules and the like mean that it's unlikely that those jurisdictions would be able to compete in this new offshore world. So that was it. Have a look at that video. Now, in this one, I want to talk about the CBI sector, the citizen, citizenship by investment, because what, one of the things that made FTX a unique, uh, an interesting case studies compared to the ones that were uh, became topics of conversation in the, the Panama Papers, Paradise Papers, Pandora Papers, is that it wasn't a shell company. It had real substance. The team was physically based in the Bahamas, and that that has come out in a lot of the reporting. As we, I'm, I'm recording this in the beginning of 2023, so the tail end of 2022, as we swing into 2023. It, you know, it, it has been a point of reference. And, and then, you know, so that's what makes it different. It wasn't just like a typical shell company. And it kind of feeds into the negativity. And again, there is a dark cloud over the whole investment migration space. So whether it's citizenship by investment or residency by investment, there is, there's a dark cloud forming. And, and it's, you would be in serious denial if you, you didn't acknowledge that fact. The Europeans have made it very clear. The Europeans and North Americans, who really those are the, those are the opinions that really count, right? So the North Americans, the the, the the Americans in particular, and the Europeans have made it clear they don't particularly like them. We've seen Montenegro well will be coming to an end. Uh, Cyprus is over, and Malta is being taken to court over their program by the European. So the Europe is taking one of their own to court. And one would expect that once that is decided and and however it goes, you know, who knows, but if it's decided uh, in favor uh, or against Malta and they have to bring it to a, a halt, then guns will be trained on uh, places in the world like the Caribbean. We've already seen what has happened to, to Vanuatu. They, they lost access as they, the Vanuatu citizenship or passport has lost access to, to certain key jurisdictions for them. So it's perhaps, you know, not too far fetched to imagine that that's what the future would be looking like for, for the Caribbean. It's unhelpful. Again, as I mentioned in other videos that you have the, the space is unregulated. And uh, I made it clear that, you know, it's not that it means something, but it would be helpful if the promoters can actually find it on a map or knew how to pronounce the names of the islands correctly. Like I keep saying, it's not St. Lucia, it's St. Lucia, it's Grenada, uh, and, and, you know, it's Dominica. 
So they they can't find it. They 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 can't. They've never been. They not that you need to go, but still, it it would be helpful. So it's an unregulated space. Some people describe it as the Wild West. You have a, a few players who are let's say less than less than scrupulous, and, and they bring it down. And you know, and the the world's oldest. Uh, CBI program is in St. Kitts, Nevis, one, uh, one of those five Caribbean territories that I mentioned earlier. And they, they had a change in the leadership. The, 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 the person who runs the CBI, the Citizenship by Investment Unit. And, and again, I, I don't know what happened. And I don't think anybody knows except the parties involved, but there has been speculation in the press that the, the gentleman who was, who had to step down and who was replaced, he was involved in, uh, something that is unfavorable right i'll just leave it there so and, and again this, this feeds into the negative news cycle that seems to be perpetually a, around the, the caribbean in general and the offshore and the cbi space in general so 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 yeah you know it it, it is what it is and I, I guess from those jurisdictions of those who are involved in that ecosystem and if you have all your eggs in that basket you would plan accordingly, diversifying, you know. And for those who may be looking at the the Caribbean citizenship, it is perhaps advisable that you will accelerate your your, your thought process because I would say yeah, it's unlikely that once it's granted that anything's going to be reversed. But uh, I would say that you probably want to get your foot in the door and get it done now. As opposed to say, well, you know, I'm waiting on some transactions to come through. Maybe I'll do it at the end of this year, maybe next year, or whatever the case may be. No, you may want to think about doing it now. So you should speak to an advisor. We, we, we're not advisors. We don't get involved in that. I'm just an interested observer. Uh, from, from our point of view as a team, it doesn't matter whether, and this aim particularly at Americans, it doesn't matter what other citizenships you may have. It doesn't, as long as you still have your uh, U.S. passport or green card, you're not relieved of the tax obligations that come with it. Although, depending on what you're trying to do, having other citizenships can be helpful for, for certain other international business reasons. It, it is something to consider, but there is no real tax advantage, no matter what some of the less scrupulous promoters may say. So yeah, if you're thinking of getting that second passport uh, or third passport, depending on what you're trying to do to build your portfolio, perhaps you'd want to do it sooner rather than later. My name is Darren Joseph, HGJ.Tax. See you next time. Bye-bye. So if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.